My name is Paul Thied. I own Racetech. Uh, we do uh, we manufacture suspension components for motorcycles, and I am the fastest man alive on an electric motorcycle at uh, 218.6 miles an hour. It all started out in 2005, and a man named Paul Livingston came to me uh, with his buddy Rod Faulkner, FL Racing guys, and they're Bonneville guys. And we do suspension here, and so they come to me and they have this project on some 125 or something that they want to turbo a 125, something like that. Anyway, they come to me and we start talking about Bonneville, and it was one of those things that I'd always seen you know, in the magazines and Cycle News, that kind of stuff. And I go, I go, man, that, that, that would be neat to go out there. And as we talk more and more, then Paul kind of sets the hook and he says, well, why don't you just come on out with us? is how do you make 50 years worth of oil last 250 years? And part of the thing is you say, okay, you know, technology will save us. Well, how is technology going to save us? Well, electric motorcycles or electric vehicles or uh, whether we're, you know, using solar panels or skylights or, or frankly, we're just, uh, you know, turning off lights when we're, we're walking out of the room instead of just leaving them on. All of that stuff makes a difference. But you look at electric motorcycle. The run that we did, so here, Richard Hatfield, who's the owner of Lightning Motorcycles, we're charging the thing back up, the batteries back up between runs. And he says, Paul, you know how much energy we used on that run? And the, the run ends up being over four miles long, even on the short course. Uh, and I said, how much? He says, 18 cents. And I said, you're telling me on that whole run we did 18, used 18 cents worth of energy. He says, yeah, 18 cents. He did some more calculations and he says, yeah, at over 200 miles an hour, we were getting over the equivalent of over 50 miles to the gallon. And I went, hmm, okay. So this motorcycle that I'm on right now, how far would it go on a charge? And he says, well, if you're riding it at freeway speeds and riding it like you normally would, 100 miles. It's if you're putting around town and that kind of stuff, 150. It says, so this motorcycle can go 100 miles, it can go 218 miles an hour. He says, yep, and we used 18 cents worth of energy on this run. Something that people don't really get is that when you're riding on salt, salt is salt. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's soft, sometimes it's as soft as shaking that salt out of the, the salt shaker, sometimes it's rough, uh, sometimes the traction's pretty good, it's always wet, and the tire is always slipping. What blows my mind is that a motorcycle that can go 218 miles an hour on salt would be an economical choice for commuting back and forth to work and having an absolute blast on. I'm a motorcycle guy, I like to go fast. I didn't start out thinking about, ooh, how green energy can save the world or the economy. I just want to go fast on a motorcycle. At the same time, these two things dovetail with each other. How can I make a difference? Mm, let me think. Going really fast on an electric motorcycle. <laughs>